failed as an influencer. Let's talk about it. If you're new, my name is Ashley. I am a full-time content creator, influencer, whatever you want to call it. I do it all. I'm a podcaster, an author. I take photos. You know, I do, I do everything. Um, and I have been doing that for the past four years. I quit my job and dropped out of school a couple of years ago. I moved out of my parents' house and I've been a content creator full-time paying my bills and all that. So why did I fail? You might be wondering. You might be like, what do you mean you failed? Like you have a channel with however many subscribers, you got this channel um, and I don't know. I think it's a state of mind. Failure is the word that I use to get you guys to listen and to pay attention. Do I truly, truly believe that I failed? No. Do I feel like I failed? My heart? My emotional side? Yeah, I do. I do feel like I failed. And that's my ego. That is my ego talking, unfortunately. Um, but if I'm being honest, like I, f I feel like I failed. And I'll tell you why. A little bit about my journey is that I started YouTube technically when I was like 12. It was like 2006 or 2007. And I started a channel and then I never took it seriously. I ended up starting a real channel in 2017 called The Amateur Guru. That channel blew up pretty quickly. I was going from making $101 to making like $2,800 um, in a matter of like two months. It was so random. So I kind of rode that wave for a minute. I ended up hitting 100,000 subscribers. And I was pulling in mad views, you know, I was, I had little fan pages, I had my plaque, I had collabs going, I was meeting other influencers, I was doing so many brand deals, I was making a lot of money. I started my website, ZodiacCayman.com, I was making bank, like I think the most money that I made in my career was probably um, from 2017 to 2019. I was making so much money and I had no bills. And I thought, wow, this is the life I'm dropping out of school. I'm quitting my job. This is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. And I did that and everything was great. Everything was amazing. I lived alone. I got a kitten. I was thriving, you know, I just felt so amazing. And then I got a book deal and I wrote my first book, Mindfulness Through the Stars. And I, oop, <laughs> it's upside down. And I got that published in Indigo and Barnes and Nobles, Target, Walmart, all of that is that, that was my prime, it felt like. Uh, I'm aware that it wasn't. I, I, there's nowhere but up to go from here. Um, but growth, success, it's not linear. It is a roller coaster. You're gonna hit a peak and you might come back down. You're gonna hit a peak and you might come back down. Right now, I feel like I've come down. I think since the pandemic, I have I have had a hard time with being a full-time content creator. Um, everything changed. Everything changed, including my passion for my channel which was an astrology-based channel, is an astrology-based channel. It's called The Amateur Guru. And I eventually, my, my heart wasn't in it, so I stopped making as much astrology content and I shut down my website, Zodiac Haven. Not long ago, actually, 2021, I shut it down. My pay started to go down after 2020 and um, things got tougher, you know? I, it was different. It, it wasn't me making content because I wanted to make content anymore. It was me making content because I had to pay my rent. Like, it wasn't it wasn't as easy. I'm someone. I have a car. You know, I have a nice condo. I have I have great things. I have a phone plan. All these things cost money. Hydro. Everything adds up, right? And um, when I stopped posting as much, my heart wasn't in it anymore. I think the viewers felt that, and they started to leave my channel and stop watching it as much. So then my viewers went from like fifty thousand to like one thousand, two thousand. You know. And that affects your pay. <laughs> because of that, my channels became less about, I'm gonna make content I love that resonates with people. And it became about, I'm going to make as much content as I can so I can pay all of my bills with ease. And it took the love out of it. And um, eventually, like, I realized that wasn't it, so I just stopped posting on one of my channels, the other one, and then on this one I just started posting what I wanted. I don't know, anyway, so getting brand deals got like harder and harder after the pandemic. I don't know why, I feel like they're more picky about who they invest their budget into, and I think they tend to go for like larger influencers and TikTokers now. Um, so getting brand deals was harder, 
my merch wasn't selling so like yeah like i shut it down and um my book never even got to launch in stores at first it was launched only online because of the pandemic and anyway so i'm saying all this to say like i feel like i went backwards and i ended up in a place where I, like i had to get a part-time job and like that that felt like a failure you know and i don't mean to cry like i know oh my god i'm tearing up i knew i would yeah like it, it just sucked because you have these big dreams and you hit this peak and you hit this prime and then everything can change everything can change and the things that you have that you once prayed for suddenly it doesn't feel like enough and that sucks because you're like oh my god like why can't i just be grateful why do i always want more but like sometimes it's not like i want more sometimes it's like i actually need more like i need to i need to you know get my shit together and i'm okay i'm okay i you know i enjoy my life i, I pay my bills whatever it's just like sometimes i feel like i'm just stagnant and like i'm not you know i have to remind myself like growth you can't always see growth you know it's like i always refer to people like doja cat and j cole that people think they just blew up overnight especially doja cat people think she just popped up out of nowhere like tiktok blew her up bam she blew up and she's famous mm -mm. i've been a fan of doja cat for a while and i've seen her come up that girl's been working hard she's been performing for dead crowds she's been bad at performing she's had shitty music videos with low budgets she's done small venues she's done relatively empty looking venues you know what i mean like she's been working for 10 plus years and i'm sure for those 10 years she was just holding on like okay one more year one more year maybe it'll happen one more year maybe it'll happen i'm sure she almost gave up a hundred times and then all it took was one viral video and then one viral tiktok song to really open up her audience and see her greatness. But because she put in all the work, people were able to go back to her old SoundCloud songs, her old EPs, her old albums, her old performances, and get hooked onto her. You know what I mean? And that's what built her fan base. It was all the silent work she'd been putting in for 10 years. And that's what I try to refer to my own journey as. It's like, it is a journey I have to appreciate and enjoy the process. And it's gonna come with hard times it's gonna come with hard times and it's gonna come with times that i feel like i failed and like it's also like an ego thing unfortunately where it's like oh i have a fucking book and a plaque and a merch website like i'm on top of the world and then it just kind of gets ripped out from under you and you're like 800 views a video and suddenly you feel like you're worthless it's it's actually so fucked up like the toxicity of influencer culture like you equate your self-worth uh, to views I sometimes I look at my engagement on Instagram and my engagement on YouTube and I feel like shit and I shouldn't because it has nothing to do with me as a person but I just I can't help it and it's like this toxicity that comes with it and then the people in the industry are not always the realest or are not always the kindest and you know you can't even turn to certain people to help you out and yeah I don't even know the point of this video I think it's just like Part of it is just I need to vent. I, I need to vent. I need to express how I'm feeling. The other part is I want you guys to understand that like your journey is not linear. Like again, I know I said that already, but it, it's it's gonna go up and down. Um, I think I was watching Hindsight one time and he said something like, "Growth is like wind. You can't see it. Doesn't mean it's not there. It's happening. All the work you're putting in, pretty much, is is building something. You just don't see it yet." but one day you'll enjoy the fruits of your labor and it will all make sense. And I guess I'm just waiting for it to make sense. You know, I post so much, I work so hard, I make a hundred fucking videos a month. <laughs> I post so many videos. I'm sad and I'm filming. I've been crying all day and yet here I am, full face of makeup filming. You know, I, I put in work, I designed my own merch. I don't know if you knew I had merch, but I have merch it says just like magic i haven't really promoted it yet this is my tote bag if you want to buy one if you want to support feel free to do so it's a really cute tote um i designed it myself i designed it myself on photoshop oh my god i'm wearing my merch too it says oh my god this is self promo self-love is the best love i don't know if you can see it but it says self-love is the best love 
There's a song by Ari Lennox on Dreamville, the Dreamville album, where she goes, self love is the best love. That one's a really good song. And I had it stuck in my head and I was like, oh my God, I, that's a perfect like slogan to put on her shirt. So yeah, I mean, hopefully I don't get sued, but she didn't invent the saying. It's been a saying. I've said it many times before that song, but um, anyways, yeah, I got merch and shit. And I got like my workbooks. I guess I'm promoting now, I may as well. I have my workbooks. Um, Self Love Manifesto, it's called. It's a guided workbook to help you on your self love journey. If you want to help me eat, pay my bills, ashleyflorestv.com. Anyways, yeah, so one day I'll be able to enjoy all the fruits of my labor. I work hard as fuck. And to work so hard and like not see immediate growth can be dis discouraging. And it sucks to say that because it shouldn't be discouraging. But it, it can be, you know, like you work your ass off and you get 200 views and you're like, damn, like this video could really help people, but not enough people are seeing it. And it, it's, it's a sad feeling. Um, but I just wanted to make this video to speak to whoever needs to hear it. You're not alone. You're not alone. Whatever you're working towards, just keep going. If you work hard, and you put your heart into something and you love something, it will have its time. And I'm not just saying this to you, I'm saying this because I need to hear it too. Like, it will have its time. You just have to be patient with the journey. Trust the journey, trust yourself. If you know you're good at something and you know it resonates with people and you know you're doing something, like, it'll pay off eventually and you will be able to enjoy it one day. I know that I'm good at what I do. I know that. Like, I know my videos are really fucking good. I know that my content is good. I put my heart into those workbooks. Those workbooks are fucking amazing. Like, I'm sorry, a little brag moment. My workbooks are good. The shadow work, inner child, who am I and why workbook, even better than the self-love manifesto. Like, I'm so proud of my worksheets and my workbooks. And I try to keep them cheap so people can actually enjoy them and use them because I feel like it could really help, you know? So I, I, it's like, it's so crazy that I can look at my own stuff, the product of my heart and be like this is not good enough sometimes and like oh why isn't it blown up why aren't more people buying it blah, blah, blah. like it's good so like why am i doubting myself you know so yeah i guess i just wanted to make this video because um you're not failing because you're not rich and famous yet or your business hasn't blown up yet it doesn't mean you're failing it does not mean you're failing I'm not failing at influencing. It feels like I am. I won't lie to you. It feels like I've failed. Having to go get a second job, like a part-time job, um, feels like I've failed. Like, it feels like I've gone backwards, you know? But it's a part of the process. There'll be high highs and low lows. There'll be ups and downs. And then eventually, it's nowhere but up. But I guess it's just not time for that yet, and that's okay. There will be a time for that. And I just have to hold on to that fact. and enjoy the ride as much as I can. So I hope you guys are doing the same or can do the same. I hope that if somebody needed to hear this, that it resonated with you and um, just give yourself grace, be patient with yourself and the journey and just know that your time will come. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to support me, feel free to do so. I have a book, Mindfulness Through the Stars. I have my manifesto, my self-love manifesto, I have my workbooks, I have my merch. It's all on my website, ashleyflorestv.com. So feel free to support. If you don't want to, that's okay. I didn't make this video for promo. It just it just ha kind of happened because I wanted to talk about these things and I realized it, you know, anyways, do what you want with your money. But I would appreciate a comment, um, maybe some words of encouragement. I could use it. I won't lie to you. I could use some words of encouragement. I really could, and I don't usually ask for shit like that. But if there's something that you like about my channel or about me or about my content, tell me, tell me. It might lift my spirits, it might help me learn what I can continue to bring to my channel. Um, or if you're feeling the same way as me, tell me so that we can talk about it and we can help each other through it. So yeah, like let's just chat in the comments. I'll be reading them. Um, but I hope you appreciate me sharing my heart with you. Here's my heart. Um, and if you know me in real life and you watch this video, you better not fucking bring it up to me because I don't feel like talking about it with anybody but strangers on the internet, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna go. It's 13 degrees outside, it's nice out, so maybe I'll just go read outside. 
um, and enjoy the weather. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.